Good evening, welcome to the News at 10. We begin tonight with a big development on a topic that has been dated at the State House for years. Idaho just announced the approval of a new state hemp plan. The Idaho State Department of Agriculture says it will soon begin licensing hemp producers and handlers under Idaho Code and the 2018 Farm Bill. Our Katia Stepovic spoke to the Department of Ag and to local farmers about the changes many say is about time. Well, that's absolutely right, Mark and Kim. This is a big step as Idaho was just recently the only state in the entire country where growing hemp was illegal. And after talking with some local farmers today, they're ready for it. In April of 2021, Governor Brad Little signed Idaho's hemp bill, House Bill 126, into law, which brought Idaho in line with the federal farm bill from 2018. And from that point on, we had to figure out administrative rules, protocols for testing, sampling, remediation, disposal, all of those things. Chanel T. Walt with the Department of Agriculture says ISDA came up with a state plan to submit to the USDA to get approval in hopes of having a 2022 hemp growing season. Idaho, it's interesting, we are the last state in the in the country to legalize a hemp program. Um, but with that comes some opportunity because I think we get to benefit from a lot of lessons learned across the nation. The bill allows producers to grow, process and transport hemp so long as it's not above 0.3% THC, which is the most THC that hemp can hold. Hemp products will be allowed to be sold in the state of Idaho, but they cannot have any THC in them. Some of the THC naturally dissipates during the harvesting process. The rest is extracted by the farmers. It's not a drug at all. It's an actual healthy commodity, and that's all it is. Tim Corney, co-owner of 1000 Springs Mill in Buell, plans to contract with other farmers to buy hemp seeds to distribute and sell for human consumption. We were really in support of hemp grain because of its high nutritional value. Uh, hemp grain has uh, omega threes and sixes and uh, nine amino acids. But since Idaho's farmers have never dealt with hemp, he says there's going to be a slight learning curve. It's not going to be easy to harvest. Harvesting is going to be the, the difficult part of it because it's so fibrous. We don't have the, the ability to use the seed as a fiber at this point or, or process it. So we'll need those processing partners or invest you know, more money to get that going. But these farmers say challenge accepted because they think this new crop will only grow Idaho's agricultural industry physically and economically. I mean, it's something that it could be a great toilet paper down the road, you know, and, and it's it's a uh, plastic. It's it's um, the building material side of things um, has got some potential too. we got to stay, stay ahead and, and try to, you know, bring more things into the state to, to help agriculture out in, in general. Hemp license applications will be open and available on November 8th online. Now, there are several requirements before you can begin growing, including a background check. Of course, anyone who has had a felony drug conviction in the last 10 years, yeah, they're not eligible. And of course, when farmers are approved, there will be inspections and samplings for THC levels. And we'll link all of that information and the application on our website, ktvb.com. This is a whole new territory, a whole new opportunity for the state of Idaho and our agriculture. I'm curious our climate. Is it conducive for growing hemp? Well, it actually is, although some of the processes might be a little bit more laborious. They actually require it requires less water. So considering the drought situation that we're in, and unfortunately, if that were to continue, we'd be in luck with the hemp. OK, you know, we think of hemp as those bracelets that you buy mm -hmm. at fairs and things like that. But it's biofuels, mm -hmm. insulation, clothing, shoes, toilet and paper. As you just heard, toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. All right. Katia, thank you.